So uh, next part of the B check for the year, uh, there's a couple frames that we noticed last time that we're going to have to replace. So we're going to build a couple new ones uh, and get checked in on the bees and uh, just see how they're doing. Um, what we're worried about is that uh, some of the foundation that uh, they lay their honey on isn't stable. So you don't want it to collapse and have them all drowned in their own honey. So I'm going to build a couple frames, I'll kind of show you how we put them together and then we'll go get back in the hive. When you run your wires through your frame, the wire doesn't over time cut through the wood. So it's got four holes, each one of them will get one. And then we'll uh, use the nail gun and put them together. So they just kind of snap together. It's really uh, pretty straightforward. Um, and then I, you can use little tiny nails like these guys, and we'll use these for our wires. But it's a little faster if you had to do a bunch of them and use a nail gun. You just need one. All we're really looking to do is just kind of keep them in place. The bees actually glue them together on their own later. And basically from here, we're going to run our wires and get our wax medium, which they'll end up building their honey out on. Um, there we go. So the last little thing is there's this little ridge piece in here. And we're going to take that off just by breaking it off with a chisel. You could probably use a screwdriver. Um, and what that ends up doing is being one more piece to hold our wax in. Um, you just gotta be a little careful that you don't break your whole frame with it. Getting close. Okay, so that guy's free, and then we'll get our wax added. So we got our wires all run through. Uh, you want to make sure that uh, you end up with wires on both sides. That's actually why we're replacing these frames. The first time we did this, we managed to get all the wires on one side, uh, which made a big bubble and has the potential for collapse. So anyway, these five are being replaced. Uh, we uh, pull the other ones out here in a minute. When we get into the hive, we'll show you, I guess, what they look like when you do them wrong. But uh, these ones uh, are right, and we'll put them in. There's a tool that you can get that heats up that wire and melts the wax, makes it even better, but uh, we don't have one, so these are at least be better than what we got in there. Okay, here's our replacement frames, got them all done. And we're taking off the top box and the uh, feeder, and we're gonna get into these bottom boxes and replace those frames. Okay, so we got our frame switched out, and of course the bees are a little grumpy because um, we just tore apart their hive. But uh, I don't know how well this is going to come through, but uh, you can see on some of these, uh, we're going to try to scrape all these bees off. Uh, but the comb's all built out, they were kind of glued together, and it just has a real potential for them to, to fall down. And then the, the honey basically is like liquid in there and they can drown. So, um, Getting uh, these guys all broken up is not real, uh, doesn't make them real happy, but they'll do better in the long run. So, uh, we're going to pull the top box off totally now, and there's a wire rack between those two, which is a queen excluder, and we'll get that up on the top so the queen can go into both boxes now. Okay, so we're going to take a step out here just because there was a chunk that I share with the little guys here before we get back in there and really tear into it. So, I figure if you got to scrape it off, someone should get it. Mm -hmm. Alright, we got to get back in there. You get a little closer look at when you do them wrong, you know, the holes and how thick that is. Then there's no wax left at all. Yeah, so, that wax. <laughs> so that's why we're pulling these ones, and we're just kind of knocking the bees off. Uh, put them back in their hive now. Okay, so how we're getting these off, this is a little bit caveman-ish, but you just give them a good whack and they'll fall off there, or a lot of them do. Um, we'll let them come back and clean up these, whatever honey they had in there, but uh, we're going to knock one more in there and get this thing closed up, because... I think, uh, I think we've messed with them enough today. Anyway, as always, have a good one. Thanks for watching.